Okay, let's work one more portfolio example here where we've got a world with three states of the future and two assets. We want to know the expected return and standard deviation, the risk and return for a portfolio where we have $6,000 of our money in asset X and $4,000 in asset Z. So here we're going to have to first start by calculating the portfolio weights. And the weights, remember, are the proportion of our portfolio that is invested in each asset. So I have the weight of X, and the proportion is the amount we invest in X, which is 6,000, divided by the total amount in the portfolio, which is 6,000 plus 4,000. And that gives me a weight of X of 60%. And then the weight of Z, while it does have to be the remainder, we only have two assets, so it's going to be 40%. We can calculate that directly by dividing the amount invested in Z by the total amount in the portfolio. And so we get a weight of 60% for X and 40% for Z. Right? Then our next step, because we're only interested in the portfolio here, is I want to create this actual return. I want to put a column for the portfolio with the actual returns for the portfolio in each individual state. Right? So that's what I do next. I want the actual returns for the portfolio in each state. So start with the boom state. In the boom state, right? remember our actual returns is the weight of each asset times the actual return for each asset in that state plus the weight of Z plus the, or times the actual return in that state. Okay. So in the boom state, 60% of my money is invested in X, and that 60% of my portfolio is going to make 15% in the boom. Plus, 40% of my money is in Z, and that per port of my portfolio will make 10%, so that the portfolio in the boom makes 13%. In the normal state, 60% of my money is in X and X makes 10%. The remainder, 40% of my money is in Z and Z makes 9%. And so I have a portfolio, actual portfolio return of 9.6%. In the recession state, 60% of my money makes only 5%. And the remainder, 40% that's in Z, it makes 10%. And my actual return in the portfolio is 7%. Okay. So those are my actual returns. Now I can calculate the expected return and variance of the portfolio the same as I would any other asset. Remember, the portfolio is itself an asset, and so I can use my expected return formulas and variance formulas for the asset, which is expected return is the probability of each state times the actual return in that state. And so the boom state has a 25% probability, and the actual return for the portfolio is 13% in the boom. The normal state has a 60% probability and the actual return for the normal state is 9.6% for my portfolio. The recession has a 15% probability and the actual return in the recession is 7% for my portfolio for a expected return of 10.06%. The variance of my portfolio, same thing as any other asset, the probability of each state times the return, actual return for the portfolio, minus the expected return for the portfolio squared. And then that looks like 25% probability of the boom. The portfolio actually returns 13% in the boom 
minus its expected return of 10.06 squared. 60% chance of the normal state. Portfolio has a 9.6% return in the normal state minus its expected return squared. Finally, 15% chance of a recession where the portfolio has a 7% return, actual return, minus its expected return squared. Do our algebra correctly, we get a variance of 0 0.0369 and a standard deviation, which is the square root of the variance of 19.22%.